Sales with Simplified Design. And I'm so glad you joined us. We are gonna have an interview with the mayor of Westminster, South Carolina. And this is Mr. Brian Ramey. And we're excited to talk with him about the wonderful things that's going on in Westminster, South Carolina. And um, a little bit more about some things that they have coming up and some exciting news. Um, so it's nice to meet you, Mr. Ramey, and I'm glad you come in and decided to talk with us a little bit about the Veterans Freedom Festival and the town of Westminster and some things that we have going on. Um, so I just wanted to ask you a little bit more. Um, tell us about yourself, a little bit about yourself and why you wanted to be mayor and a little bit about Westminster. Well, I have been a building contractor for over 30 years, uh, born and raised here in Westminster. I've made my living, raised my family here in Westminster, and uh, the city's been good to me. Uh, uh, I grew up through the recreation department. Uh, family knew everybody in town, and uh, it, it was just a, a real homey place for me. So when I started my business, I started in town. I wanted to stay in town and try to help the community, and then. Uh, Eventually things just work out and uh, I've always felt like we should always give back anything we can and uh, when the, I had a lot of people ask me about running for mayor, getting involved with the city politics and uh, I thought I'd give it a shot and uh, so far we've been pretty successful with that. I've been elected to two terms and we actually have an election coming up now for this year. Amazing. But uh, it's nice being able to serve the community that really made me who I am today. Yes, sir. I can tell you've got a lot of pride in what you do and pride in your city and I'm thankful for you and for your team that you were telling me you put together that's working together really well. And I hear you've got some really exciting news, a couple of um, projects coming, the Senior Outreach Center and also the grant that the city got. Do you want to say anything about that? Yeah, just uh, the, the last uh, few years we've been trying to put together a, uh, a new recreation complex for the city. Awesome. And uh, it's a really big project. It's gonna transform the city. Uh, but uh, Westminster's never really grown once we lost our high school and the manufacturing, local manufacturing plants. There's really nothing that we could do to spur some growth in Westminster. Well, this uh, recreation complex brings in a lot of people. And Oconee County doesn't have one. And uh, Wahala and Seneca both have something to draw people to their towns and we're hoping that this will be something that uh, Westminster will be able to do our part for Oconee. So uh, we've looked that. at that since I was a kid. We wanted to build a recreation <laughs> complex here and now we... Especially we've, you growing up doing it. Right. And we've got the opportunity now. We've got a, a five million dollar uh, investment from the state coming. We own the property and uh, then the senior outreach. We have a group uh, a fantastic group of seniors led by Judy and ATK Wood who have just received a $200,000 grant to build and remodel their building and we're going to be creating a beautiful organization for our seniors as well as something for our youth at the same time. That's so, amazing. A lot of excitement going on. Yeah, the next so um, we love Westminster and I'm from a small town myself. And that just warms my heart to hear that, that happening, that growth that y'all have been wanting and dreaming for for so long. It's finally coming to fruition. So Absolutely. congratulations on all your hard work on that. Thank you. Um, and so I wanted to ask you, um, you know that we are having the Veterans Freedom Festival here on Main Street, West Main Street here. And I told you a little bit about what we're trying to do, a free event for veterans where we can actually have resources for them here, have some of the veterans, our musicians, bring the community in, local businesses, and um, just a fun day for kids and everybody to get together, but also a day to honor veterans and really um, have help there for them because sometimes that way they get to go have fun, but also they might not be willing to go get help. But if they're coming here, maybe they would be able to meet someone and talk and get that help that they need. How do you feel about events like this? Do you think that they're important for Westminster and the community? Oh, absolutely. We, we have a very, very patriotic town here and, and our city really, really loves the veterans we have. We, we can't have an event without having a lot of veterans. We have one on council. Uh, I have uh, uh, uncles, nephews, cousins that are all veterans, uh, a lot of friends. When we have the car shows uptown now, oh, yeah. 
I'd, I'd say a quarter or maybe even half the people up there are veterans. That's wonderful. And, and we big turnout. That's one of the reasons why we chose here because we know you do love your veterans and we've we've been in the community talking with people and there really is a heart for veterans here and we're thankful for that. We're thankful yes, for you and um, letting us be willing to be here and join you guys and have a fun day. Um, is there anything that you would like to add um, that we haven't covered? Well, we've got a lot of new exciting things coming up in Westminster. Uh, as I mentioned, we've got the, uh, the Hall Street Recreation Complex, the Senior Outreach Project going on. We've got a new downtown master plan that we're starting to implement. Oh, I saw it's beautiful. We're going to look for some funding for that. That's already in the works. Uh, uh, new branding for Westminster. Uh, yeah. New colors, new designs, a lot of new excitement. Uh, one of the biggest benefits we have in Westminster are, are the volunteers in town. And they worked so hard for so many years with so little. We're trying to give them more to work with. We're trying to, to give them something to, to be able to show off what they do. Uh, yes. The Garden Club and a lot of the others just do a tremendous amount of work. and. Uh, I think our city's on the verge right now of really making a big showing in the next couple of years. Cause I, we, believe, I, believe, it's, I the, believe it is. And the only way this was possible is with a council that we have. We And I've, I've told people this over and over. Our council has come together in a way that I've not seen people do before. Now they disagree. We have disagreed <laughs> several times and I've given in on several things I didn't agree with. But the, the thing about the council we have now is they all want what's best for Westminster as a whole. Not one group, not one team, not one bunch. They want the whole town to benefit. And uh, I think that's imperative for, for seeing a city be able to be successful. I agree. I agree. I'm excited um, that we're that we're on the cusp of all this wonderful news here in Westminster and I look forward to talking with you again soon and hopefully seeing you at the event. We'll be here. All right, and thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. I really thank appreciate you. it. And for everything you do right, for well, the thank city. Thank you for bringing your event to our town. Well, you're welcome. We are glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I um, hope you enjoyed the interview. And we're going to be bringing you some more interviews, so stay tuned. And please come out to our event on August the 12th, 2023 in Westminster, South Carolina. We can't wait to see you there. It's going to be a wonderful day. And you can find out more about it at veteransfreedomfestival.org. And you can also help support, be a vendor. If you have a small business and you want to get out there and um, do some selling, please contact me. And we would love to have as many out as we can and just spread the, the love and the networking and um, a wonderful, fruitful day for everyone involved. So thank you so much.